you know, I think we're sitting in a pretty good spot in the GNAC, uh, three and one. You know, we faced the number one team. We gave them a pretty good game for a majority of the 40 minutes. Uh, you know, I just see improvement in our starters and our bench player, and it's really exciting going into the rest of the season, sitting where we are. Definitely, um, any win on the road in the GNAC is huge. And for us, that Alaska trip is the hardest because of the time difference and the traveling and whatnot. So coming back with a win, uh, going into the rest of the season, like you said, is just a giant confidence booster. Um, I think playing at home for two games will be huge for us, getting everybody rested up and whatnot. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, the last two games, we've had different players step up in each game. Our, you know, we shot pretty well from the outside against um, Anchorage, and then really our, we didn't shoot as well against Fairbanks, but we made it work. We came back. Um, Post play was big. Marissa played great minutes for us in both games. Uh, I think rebounding was definitely a difference between the two games. We came out in the second game and out-rebounded Fairbanks, which is huge. So going into the weekend, I think if we can take, you know, um, the rebounding as well as, you know, just not giving up. We were down in both games multiple times and we just kept clawing our way back. So that was really positive to see that nobody gave up on the team. I think everybody settled into their role a little bit more. So if one person maybe isn't having the offensive night that they have been, we've had other people stepping up. Uh, our scoring's a lot more balanced than it has been. Uh, when we get scoring from the bench, it helps uh, the starters not rely on the starters as much. So, you know, people coming off the bench might not be as known uh, as the starters by the other team. So it's really... I guess it just takes pressure off those that are starting because we know that the bench can come in and play huge minutes and get points for us. Uh, both are very good teams. They had good weekends last week. I think St. Martin's actually, they won one and lost one, but they beat Central. Central's a good team. SPU beat Central. Um, they they have you know a couple good players there. They play different ball than you know, both Alaska teams. So for us, it's going to be, scouting will be huge, both offensively and defensively. So we come in and play our game and don't let their defensive tendencies um, change the way that we play. And SPU is always a good team. I think they're a little bit younger this year, but they're going to be athletic. And for us, again, just to play our own game and kind of get them out of their comfort zone and be the aggressor. Um, you know, sometimes I think you're just in the right place at the right time with the ball. Uh, that happened to me being on Saturday. I would, I think for rebounding, a lot of the girls on our team find that if they're having a slump offensively, the easiest way to get going is to get offensive rebounds and put up your points that way. And that, I think, is what helped me uh, start the game and then even at the end of the game, just getting on the glass because I knew that if we needed second chance shots since we were behind, so. Um, it's definitely a tough trip. It's such a long ways to go for a short amount of time. And I thought we, uh, we really did well this weekend, even though we did come out with one loss, but we kind of knew what we did wrong there. So it's something to work on for the future and get better with. And I'm glad we came away with a win and we uh, now can get back to work and look forward to this week. Um, I think our team's head is in a good place right now. Uh, definitely having the win makes it a lot easier coming to practice this week than if we had lost both games. Road wins are always great, no matter if they're uh, not the prettiest win in the world. But I think we have a lot to work on, and I think we're in a good place to go from there. Um, that's always been my role, is trying to be a spark and trying to get things going. And I, we have quite a few bench players who do just the same. and. It's really important when we have multiple bench players who can do that. And I think just as my thing as a redshirt fresh uh, sophomore, it's a lot easier having that experience. And so kind of showing, being an example for younger girls to come off the bench and do the same. It's really helped us, I think, this far. And um, that's kind of what I've been trying to make my role as is just come in, work hard, get it done. And because you never know how much you'll play or what coach is really needing on the floor is just give it your all. It was a good trip. Uh, I thought we competed hard against Anchorage. Uh, they're an elite team and um, they 
several three or four different times in the game they would get double digit lead and we'd come back and and get it down to you know five six and and give them a little bit of a scare but uh, we just at the final time we just couldn't get any closer and and then and they pulled away at the end but I thought uh, we competed at a high level uh, and if we uh, just clean up a few things uh, um, I think we have a great chance maybe to be more effective the next time we play them. Uh, against Fairbanks, uh, we started great. I think we were up 14 to five after one, uh, the middle two quarters. Uh, I, I could tell definitely that fatigue was a factor for us with the second game in three days, and you could tell that they, they were fresh. Um, but we kind of hung in there. We got behind five or six, but uh, towards the end of the third quarter, uh, we got within three, and then early in the fourth quarter, we were able to get a little run and get a little breathing room, and uh, it was nice to win a close game on the road. With St. Martin's, uh, you just have to be very disciplined. Uh, they do what they do very well. I mean, they, they're very patient on offense. They get good shot selection. Uh, they have a great player on the perimeter in Stabler and a good post player in Weedman. And then they have lots of other players that uh, know their roles. Uh, like you said, they had an excellent win at Central Washington. Uh, they play tonight when they, they host SPU. So uh, that'll be obviously important game as well. Um, it's just you have to really defend for longer periods of time. And that takes discipline, and and then you ha they're very good on the glass. So we're going to have to uh, block out, and then offensively, uh, they're they're very fundamentally sound, and um, they they have great help side, and and you're just going to have to make the correct reads uh, offensively. We're going to have to limit our turnovers, and if we can do that, I think we can be successful. They played a faster pace than St. Martin's, uh, but. Like St. Martin's, they're, they're well coached and, and they do what they do very good. Uh, they had two close games on the road last week, once coming out on top and then the second game losing to NNU by one. Uh, they've been in a lot of close games. Uh, I think their, their identity is uh, uh, depth. Uh, they have a lot of depth of talent, play a lot of people, uh, especially on the perimeter. So um, I think uh, on-ball pressure and handling that's going to be extremely important for us. And it just comes down to the fundamentals. The first time you see a team each year, I mean, we've been, I've been coaching in the league long enough. None of us are going to change a lot. Um, we're going to tweak things just by our personnel. Uh, but I think that you just have to let your players uh, uh, play and, and play with confidence and it's great to be home. Uh, Alaska always is a tough trip just uh, it takes I think a couple days for their bodies to recover uh, getting back to the two hour different time zone and those long, long jet rides but I know uh, we'll be ready and uh, we're gonna have to be because both teams are very good. I think they're uh, getting better, and uh, the, the best thing about our team is I think we still have uh, uh, levels to get to. I think we're still improving. Uh, you know, Janiel is, is still uh, not 100% off of her knee, but I can tell that she's getting more explosive, and I think she's going to even be stronger down the stretch. Uh, Monica's, I thought, is... Uh, I feel is playing very consistent, uh, the best basketball that she's ever played. Alicia uh, has been a solid for us all year, but she was very special early in the fourth quarter against uh, Fairbanks. Her team teammates found her in the post. Uh, she was able to score outside, um, off the dribble. Uh, and I think she had about nine consecutive points that really turned that game. And uh, it was nice for, for our team to set the screens or to find her when she was hot. And, and then she was all over the glass. and. And Marissa has been playing very well for us all year. Uh, and inserted her into the starting lineup. Thought we'd just try something different there. Um, and whether we continue to do that, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, she responded well with a, a very good game. I was impressed a lot that she played, I think, 36 minutes and only had one turnover. Uh, but able to get double digits and rebounds was very important, as well as the 11 points. It's great. Uh, it'll be uh, fun. There won't be a lot of students here. Obviously, we're on break, but um, being that a lot of our players are local, I expect to have uh, some f good family support, and hopefully, uh, uh, the community will come out and support the team. Uh, they're they're playing very well, and uh, I think uh, the best is yet to come.